Welcome to my channel Master Stoichiv. You ever wondered what truly influences female desire, beyond the surface-level assumptions and myths that flood pop culture and statistic often repeated in psychological circles, is that nearly 90% of women have a distinct preference when it comes to male anatomy, but it's not what most men think. Psychological landscape of attraction is far deeper and more intricate than just looks or size. While physical traits do matter to some degree, mind plays a far greater role in shaping what women find genuine Peltistus, what media and locker room talk may claim most women aren't chasing gafta, exaggerated physical extrinsic, fact research from letting genstitions including studies in evolutionary biology and sexual behavior consistently shows that women overwhelmingly lean toward a particular kind of male anatomy, not for its size or shock factor, but for the way it reflects a viral health cleanliness, and proportion. It's not about being the biggest, it's about being balanced. A healthy, well-groomed, and symmetrical appear can often triggers subconscious in the female brain, linked to genetic fitness and emotional safety. Now let's unpack what that really means. When Rezers at the University of California surveyed hundreds of women across various age groups and relationship backgrounds, they found something surprising. Most women identified a preference for penises that were around 6 to 6, 5 in indirect length, roughly average combundeth, a slightly thicker than average agathot. Here's the twist context. Ways very thin preferences shifted depending on whether a woman was considering a casual encounter or thinking about avatental long term. Part Neth psychological setting, Surindan Jintiki, played a critical role in what they found desirable. So what exactly shapes these preferences on a deeper level cycle suggests that female sexual attraction is the result of both drives and social condition for an evolutionary standpoint. Women may naturally gravitate toward traits that suggest vitality, cleanliness, and inability to provide a symmetrical shape proper hygiene and proportionality to just about appearance. There are subtle indicators of health and wellness. These features communicate reliability good genetic stock which our primal brains still register seven in the modern world but beyond biology, social experiences matter, to cultural narratives especially, those shaped by adult entertainment and in realistic portrayals in film often distort how women view intimacy, these narratives can make women feel like a deer, preferences are abnormal if they didn't align with the exaggerated textbook stance they've seen, on screen however in honest real life settings, most women express that emotional connection, trust and mutual respect dramatically outweigh any physical spiffics, in fact when surveyed about twit, truly enhances their sexual satisfaction women consistently, rank things like emotion understand, onina oh, there, on a psychological level which is, where real chemistry begins, not with anatomy, but with emotional alignment, and mutual presence, another vital factor, estimating women's preferences and desires can shift throughout different stages of life, especially due to hormonal changes, emotional experiences, and relational shoshori, felt good or attractive in one season of life, may evolve into some ethnogenary differentiator on the men who understand this and remain curious, communicative and adaptable, are the ones who tend to form the most satisfying long-term bond Moryova. The way a man carries himself in other areas of life, his ambition, his skinness, his boundaries, all subtly affect how attractive he seems to women. It's the full psychological profile that matters a healthy man with clear values and a sense of purpose becomes more attractive than someone who merely looks good on the surface. That's the hidden truth about human behavior. Physical attraction is just the spark, but psychological linked is the flame that keeps burning. It is also worth noting. That fear, shame, or anxiety around sexual performance can deeply impact malice self -estimony. Men internalize myths about size and begin to feel inadequitous. Mindset can unintentionally cause it them to withdraw. Emotionally, creating distance in relationship erically, the very thing that could draw a woman closer vulnerability. And openness is the thing they fear showing but, in many cases, when men share their insecurities in a calm, confident way women respond with empathy not judgment so, here's a radical yet grounded truth women, do care about your penis but not in the way the internet told you they care that it's clean healthy and a reflection of how you take care of yourself, they care that you treat them with respect and that intimacy feels like a mutual dance not a one-sided conquest. And they care that you show up fully, not just physically, but emotionally. In the end, psychology is us. That what women want isn't amistry, it's just often drowned out by louder superficial voices. 
When we peel back those distractions what remains is simple and powerful connection, prasenskare, and a willingness to grow together those are the traits that form lasting detraction not inches but intimacy not with that ristamso. If you're a man listening to this wondering whether you measure up remember, true attraction begins in the mind and blooms through the hearts. Ice might start the conversation by its sire, psychological and emotional presence that will keep her listening dand, that more than anything else, is what will blow your mind and hers thank you watching for this video.